been around the world. <laughs> Couple of lots of Hi, I'm Sugar Ray Norcia. I'm a blues man. That's what I do. I, I sing the blues, but I also sing music. I'm a singer of songs. Any good songs that pleases me, I'm willing to try, whether it be uh, country or, or hillbilly music or uh, western swing, but mostly blues. That's my thing. Blues. How about you, Charlie? Well, I'm Charlie Beatty, guitar player, and I, I don't necessarily call myself a blues guitarist. I started out because I love blues on the harmonica, and then I switched to guitar. And then over the years, like Sugar, I, I developed interest in all these different kinds of music, including jazz, swing, uh, Brazilian music, uh, gypsy jazz. And I just try to take that sense of melody and then, you know, uh, intermix it with a the bluesy, uh, the bluesy sense that I've gotten from listening to the blues all the years. And I love playing with Sugar because we play music that just jumps over boundaries. But it all makes sense because it's just natural. It's what we do. We don't really think of uh, blues uh, music having labels as much as it's either good music or it's bad music. Yeah, to, to mix up the genres. Uh, yeah, I've been doing that all my life. I've uh, I spent ten years with a jump swing band called Roomful of Blues. I uh, I play with jazz combos. I did a record of West, Western Swing. When I'm home and and, and uh, sitting on the couch or in my living room, I listen to uh, Bach and Brahms. I mean, you know, just it's music is a wonderful thing that makes the world go round. And uh, and I like I like to, to to listen to different kinds, and I love to sing and play different genres. It makes me happy. Rat trap. That's a rat trap, baby. That's a rat trap, baby. Ain't gonna work right here. We did a record uh, that's coming out next year, produced by Duke Robillard on the Severn label. It's going to be a nice combination. It's just got it's got rockabilly, it's got jazz, it's got jump, it's got blues. Uh, it's just uh, to me, it's an incredible record. I think it's going to be one of the most important records to come out next year. That's the right trap, baby. That's the right trap, baby. It ain't gonna wake around here. Late one evening, you was out on the prowl, sly like a fox and wise as an owl. We speak the language, a uh, common language of music, and we can talk about ideas and uh, and make things work. And I think we both have good ears for music, and uh, uh, and and we respect each other when we're performing. Uh, uh, there's a certain chemistry that we that we have on stage that I think is. Uh, uh, it's something you don't, you can't rehearse. You either have that chemistry, or you shouldn't be playing in the same band. <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, smile. Because uh, you heard the way we closed our show, maybe you could uh, follow up by following this uh, question with, with us playing the song, a show tune uh, called When You're Smiling. And I explained to the crowd, there's, there's, too, much, there's too much war and upheaval in this world and uh, not enough getting along with each other and smiling. And when I say that, I look in the audience and I see it actually, people smile. It's amazing. And they look at each other and go, yeah, he's right. So let's keep let's keep that message going continuously. It'll be a better world.